Hello guys, how are you all doing? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I will be speaking a little bit low due to a little bit of headache, sinus problem, right side of my head is hurting a little bit, but I'm up in the odd hours, like it's around 5 a.m. here. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. And I decided to make some tea, have some medication and water, but before I go to sleep on up, you know, do some videos. So this is the last one out of the three. Um, and this is going to be Arabian Oud. This fragrance doesn't have enough reviews and uh, I actually was not sure I was gonna get it and I recently actually decided to pull the trigger it's kind of like yeah uh, it's it's one of those things that I wanted to do for a very long time and we'll be talking about initial impression on a fragrance called Sultani and as you can tell this is not the perfume this is just like a shopping bag they give they have the own bag and Arabian Wood recent times have some sales going on or something so I got a little bit discount on it and I got it from USB page they got really the best price here this is 100 ml um, and this perfume basically is their top of the line kind of a fragrance and i'll show you presentation as well as i'll talk about the perfume what i get from it the performance i cannot say so much about initial impression whatever i got from the one wearing i'll tell you so this perfume i look for it i was looking for good reviews it's on fragrantica but the basic fragrance that this one is similar to is called amiri which i review this one doesn't have any review on fragrantica this is super heavy this fragrance people compare with Sultani but people say Sultani is a lot more interesting but Amiri is a lot more better performer so we'll compare that a little bit and they said there's another fragrance I forgot the name which is also similar to these two right so I haven't tried that one from Arabian Wood same house so when I saw it you know like I saw Nixon Diaz one of our brothers you know big reviewers from Dubai uh, he I think got it but I don't think if he has reviewed it so this one doesn't have enough reviews right so I want to leave a review that's why I spent my <laughs> money and uh, at this moment I am not supposed to buy anything but I still bought it so uh, yeah uh, it took a little bit of sacrifice so here we go uh, this perfume hands down is I think uh, uh, one of the big fragrances you know I call it like one of the sultans of fragrances recent times when I wore it it felt like so beautiful okay so that's the bag I feel when people say they do uh, over the board overboard you know they go overboard with their presentation i kind of agree some of their fragrances can cost a lot more due to their heavy packaging okay so this one looks nice blue like the bag pretty nice you know it has arabian wood uh, website you know like inside this is strictly for this particular perfume okay then they, you have this it's like presentation of presentation so basically this bottom part sort of comes out so i put tape on it because the thing i think lost the glue so it has this name tag looks really nice nice little solid box the information at the back and uh, basically uh here i think it will say at the base it will say 100 ml and it's a 65 percent volume that's remember the name okay and when you open it that's where the another box stays so box after box after box so per perhaps you don't need so much box just for a small bottle is just way too much right but the box is nice <laughs> you know it's heavy it says they put a tape on it you can take it off so it still has that sultani logo and when you open it that's where the bottle stays this is very heavy you know this i think is perhaps like three and a half kilos or more okay the whole packaging then you add the bottle this is that ultimate thing that it's inside all those right so it's a 100 ml very heavy bottle uh, some people say it's very luxurious bottle i find it to be actually a bit ordinary compared to amiri or some of the other bottles that i have asil special edition i have reviewed i'll leave the link below check out my other arabian wood this bottle doesn't impress me that much it feels nice in the hand picture wise it looks very ordinary i don't like that presentation that much to be honest and then there's the cap heavy metallic cap juice color is mild it's kind of like uh, you can say sorry yeah hold on yeah sorry about that some noise was going on and then you know um, i just decided to pause it because i don't like uh, disturbance at 5 a.m people are still making noise so i was telling you i don't like this bottle design but thankfully it's 100 ml which i like um, this one the weight of it it's a lot and the cap also is all metal so basically you're paying for half of the price for presentation right so this one has a beautiful thing though inside that atomizer is kind of blue reminds me of diorum cologne right so i have it on my hand for some time and the dry down reached already about one hour or so this is a very uh, nice sprayer okay Be very big sprayer it sprays a lot 
And the cap is nice. Why I don't like it also? Because one of the house in Middle Eastern uh, clone company called Paris Corner, they have a fragrance bottle exactly like this, you know, not the same quality glass, but it looks like uh, this. That one is called Aviator. I think I reviewed it. That's an Aventus clone. Uh, but that one is a cheap knockoff of this, right? Like the bottle, but that one is an Aventus clone. So I guess perhaps that picture in my head, like I want my $150 cologne to look like, <laughs> you know, unique. Anyway, it's not their fault, right? But the bottle feels nice and heavy, but the look wise is a bit ordinary. So first of all, when I was talking about 65%, let's talk about the performance. Who is it for seasons? Then we'll talk about the smell. When they say 65% volume, trust me, you can see my hand, right? I just sprayed it. If the liquid is gone, it's the oil, okay? So this fragrance, the longevity of this thing is through the roofs. People, when they say they cannot smell it, it's a weak juice, they go nose blind. So don't worry about the performance. Performance is through the roofs. When you talk about projection, projection-wise, it projects heavily after for two hours. After that, it does last. Perhaps I go nose blind. I don't smell it that much. But when I do this, I can smell it. People around me, it fills up a house. It's basically it's a house filler, you know. So when you spray this, it will fill up a whole house, big house or a big room, right? So performance, great. 10 out of 10 for performance, no issue. Who is it for? This is perhaps built for men, but I think women can use it as well. But how many sprays? Go less. Less is more with this to enjoy. Keep it mysterious, you know. This fragrance, I mean, uh, when you wear like one spray, you actually like, like here, somewhere here, perhaps put it here or perhaps back of your neck. You'll always move around and people around you can smell it. If you spray heavily, what will happen with you is that you will need more and more application in time because you are used to that heaviness. So you will actually end up using the bottle very quickly. I think that's a wrong way of using it, but to each his own. If you like heavy spraying, go for it. But to enjoy the max, less is more. One spray is good enough. When to wear it? All year round. This is a fresh perfume. It's a it has a beautiful citrus, fruits, uh, pink pepperish, just like the Amiri, but it has some added uh, red berries or red karan or uh, something like cranberry sort of an added note that is not present in Amiri. So that's one difference. So this fragrance feels very uh, fruity, zesty, summer-like niche style perfumer. It's not for everybody. Some people may say like this one has a Middle Eastern vibe. Of course, it's a Middle Eastern perfume. So this one smells, if you are used to Arabian wood fragrances, you can blind buy this. If you like Amiri, if you loved Amiri, okay, you can blind buy this, but you don't need both, to be honest. Because Amiri, to my, uh, in my humble opinion, this is an Ambroxan bomb. This one has amber, Ambergris or Ambroxan that carries through at the base forever. And it's like the Dior Sauvage of Middle East countries, okay, top of the line. So is this better than this? Uh, comparison wise, I cannot say one is better than the other. I like both. Okay. But presentation wise, this game is just unbeatable. This one feels like the Saudi Arab king. This is a Saudi Arab, uh, like Saudi Arabia house. But this one feels a lot more premium in the packaging. But when we talk about the smell, this feels a little bit upgraded version of Amiri in terms of smell because it has this added berry note. But it's very close to that, you know. <laughs> when I smell it, it definitely has... Uh, like imagine Aventus and Aventus Cologne, right? This feels like like uh, Amiri Cologne, but with performance. You know, this one doesn't feel like lighter. So this one still has that pink pepper, that peppery kick, but it's not a nose burning spice. But if you actually think about it, those kick that you get from this perfume after you spray it is that pink pepper. So basically peppery, fruity, zesty, a lot of citrus in this, very beautiful citruses. It will be like a like a shining armor in summer. You can go whole day wearing this, like a couple of sprays on shirt. People will detect you all day and the dry down is so sexy. It goes a little bit masculine and uh, the fragrance has this uh, sexy appeal, okay? So it's very, very distinctive. Nobody will smell like you. And this fragrance is actually worth every single penny that you spend, okay? Hold on. I'm really sorry about the noise. You know, it's like late night. I think it's my dad or whoever is just chopping something. Uh, fruits or something i don't know because he's gonna go for morning walk <laughs> anyway so that noise disturbed me a little bit so i'm sorry about that pause so i was saying that this fragrance is worth every penny because you get what you pay for you like that regal presentation this is top of the presentation top of the line this is one of the best house in middle eastern countries and for those exotic fragrance lovers i want to try the cashmere some of the other ones cashmere mask but 
every single time I bought an Arabian Oud fragrance, I spend a lot of money. You know, this fragrance you can buy at this price point, three or four great designer fragrance or more. But uh, when you buy this, you know what you're getting into. You're getting into luxury. So this is a luxurious segment and definitely feels luxurious. So great signature scent, great something like think of uh, Dior Sauvage made Dunhill's icon and then they make some Ambroxan base and it gives that luxurious vibe. Every single note smells very posh and elegant. Uh, it feels like they use quality ingredients, nothing synthetic about it. But some people may say this smell perhaps like like an Ambroxan sort of a uh, Middle Eastern vibe. Every single Middle Eastern man smell like this. I can relate. I had friends from Dubai who studied with me in Malaysia. So I smell those guys like when they go around, they smell heavy. You know, they smell like sometimes oud, sometimes freshness, but they always spray heavy. So this does remind me of those Middle Eastern friends. If you want to get a luxury luxury segment perfume, this is a great one. If you want to get signature scent, great one. All year round, winter, summer, it would perform. But in the summertime, it would project more. So projection is kind of like 7.5 out of 10 on me so far. Longevity is through the roofs. Remember this, this is an oily perfume. Check this out, okay? Longevity has no issue. And you need a little bit less, uh, like a little bit only application that will do your uh, whole day's coverage. So that way, this is good. I don't have any that much complaint like, oh, this weakling, apart from the bottle design. <laughs> I mean, it feels a bit ordinary. It just is my own taste. Many people find this beautiful, okay? It, it's very heavy glass space. It, they use quality glass. So overall, initial impression, this one, is it better than Amiri? I cannot say so, okay? Uh, these fragrances are a tie for me. Both of them are beautiful and they're cousins. Definitely, it's a bit more masculine. This leaning a little bit uh, less masculine, more fruity, fresh, citrusy. Uh, try them out, but this one feels a little bit more uh, well-rounded compared to Amiri. But presentation, everything, Amiri is the one that takes the cake. It's like so heavy. It has this magnetic top, which I'm a sucker for. And it feels really, really like the most premium of this house so far. So I'll give this a 9 out of 10, okay? Amiri gets a 10. This gets a 9 because the price are kind of same. But Amiri gets a little bit less juice. I think that's about 75 mil or something or 80 mil. I forgot. 100 mil, definitely worth trying. Uh, this is a fragrance. Criticism a little bit just before I finish. This is not a perfume for you if you already have Amiri and you're not a collector. You don't want this because you feel like, oh, I spent like $300 on two fragrances that smell very close. Okay. Uh, that is one criticism. And the criticism is this fragrance, this uh, whole packaging, you know, I'm getting a little bit tired of them. Uh, all more power and respect to this house. It's a regal house, I understand. But for the small bottle, they could have just made a nice little wooden box. That would do. It would be so easy to carry or keep. These boxes will take huge space in your collection. That's another criticism. I don't think it's needed to give a... Maybe perhaps in Middle Eastern countries, it's like everything has to be big. Car has to be big. You know, your income has to be big. Watch has to be big, right? But apart from those, these are like... Minor, my, minor things. Overall, this is a very, very good fragrance. I'll do a full-on review after wearing it for summer when heat comes out. I'll see how this one goes, okay? So 9 out of 10 for Sultani. Thank you so much, USB, for bringing this in Bangladesh and uh, offering it for a very good, good pricing. You can get it from USB. I'll leave a link below. You can buy it from there. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching and thanks for your, all your support. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I never used to say this, but it feels, you know, like good you know when you actually subscribe and then you re like view my videos on a regular basis it gives me happiness that's why i do the videos take care okay have a nice day Bye bye